Making moves has been fundamental to Enzo Moresca's football coaching career. Moresca spent time coaching Parma in 2021 before coaching Manchester City's development team, which included Romeo Lavia and Cole Palmer, from 2022 to 2023 and subsequently taking up the Leicester City job in 2023. This is Enzo Moresca's tactics analyzed. Deeper build-up In order to overcome a strong press, Moresca places a great importance on a deep build-up with quick passes from the back line. The goalie, who frequently joins the back line, is crucial to this tactic. Moresca frequently chooses to play with a back four in a 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3 configuration. The Italian is able to keep four players on the back line by pushing one of his fullbacks inside when the goalie enters the play. An inverting fullback at Leicester helped create a double pivot. Position to receive past his only defenders. In his 4-3-3 formation, the inverted fullback and the goalkeeper's involvement are tactics he is accustomed to from his Manchester City EDS teams. Number 8 Threats At Leicester, the number 8 were able to start higher thanks to an inverted fullback creating a double pivot. They could then target the inner routes within the wide attackers from here, which also provided additional cover for the lone central striker. On the Maresca, targeting the inner channels had worked well for Leicester in their early games. His Parma and Manchester City EDS teams also displayed these trends. Number 8 would press forward into the front line in a formation that effectively became a 2-3-5 as Parma's fullbacks narrowed in their attempt to mount an attack. With a fullback forward starting far earlier than against Parma, Leicester's offensive alignment more closely resembles a 3-2-4-1. The number 8 must have forceful runs in behind in both systems. Number 8 runs are available if the opposition fullback leaps out to press the wide attackers. This is particularly true if the centre forward pins the defender who is, a, who is closest to him. In only one of Maresca's first seven games at Leicester, did his team have less than 63% possession. This often locks opposition into mid and low blocks for long periods. Inside channel runs from the eights can penetrate the back line, taking the pressure off the centre forward to make runs beyond. If opposing midfielders trap these runs and nullify the eight, the central midfield unit with the invert fullbacks can de- dominate the ball. This works generates more high ball possession, whereas wingers can then attack inwards once the eights have played out, adding to the central overload and offering a goal threat. Defending the counter attack. At Leicester, as with Parma, the front line is a five in the attacking phase. Moresca set up in attack in Terra B, deferring the shape of players underneath the ball. Compared to his early days as a manager in the championship, due to Leicester's rotations in the attacking phase, they often have three players in the back line with a double pivot screening. This forms a 3 5 2 shape underneath the ball. Most of the protection to guard against potential contracts sets up in central spaces. This back three has centre backs ready to step up and deal with wide counter attacks. With double pivot protecting ahead of a middle centre back, the wide centre backs must delay counter attacks while their high attacking teammates recover. At Parma, the cover at defensive transition featured two in the back line and three ahead in a 2 to 3 5 shape. This second line was usually made up of both full backs and a single pivot from the 4 3 3. Moresca's Parma team therefore had more instant aggressive pressing and dueling underneath the ball compared with Leicester's double pivot. The extra player closer to the ball reduced the need for back pressing, especially from the eights. This obviously came with some defensive risk. If the second line didn't win the ball or delay long enough to allow forward teammates to recover their defensive shape. In that case, a back line of two found it very difficult to cover wide spaces. Locking the ball on one side. Moresca wants his sides to press and quickly regain the ball with the aim of dominating possession and limiting opposition attacks. Leicester have typically converted into a 4-4-2 to press, as his Manchester City EDS team did. This requires one of the eights to jump forward alongside the central striker, as the latter attempts to force the ball one way. Should they lock the ball on one side, the jumping number eight is ready to press any attempt to switch back across. The op- opposite winger also narrows, allowing the two central midfielders to move over, with the closest winger pushing high to press. The opposite fullback should also support with Leicester locking the ball on one side in an attempt to regain possession. When high pressing isn't an option, 
Let's say I have dropped into a block that maintains a 442 shape. One of the number 8 remains in the first line with the two other central midfielders staggered slightly. One drops back to cover the space between the lines supporting central defenders. Their gap in midfield is then filled by the high number 8 back pressing or a winger moving inside leaving a wide area free. If the opposition switches play from one touchline to the other, let's just slide across with the same defensive movements in midfield happening on the far side. At Parma, Maresca encourages side to lock and force play one way, albeit from a 4-3-3 shape. The entire front line jumped on to the opposing back line with the central midfield holding their shape to screen any central passes. The fullback aggressively supported in the wide areas was earlier than his Manchester City and Leicester City teams. As a result, there was a big emphasis on regaining possession in wide areas through high intensity running from wide players. If teams played over the wingers, the 4-3-3 quickly became a 4-1-4-1 block, with the central midfielders focused on protecting the middle. Parma's fullback would still jump out to press with wingers required to recover back and double up in support. The high energy press in wide areas also occurred when Parma dropped into a set block. Enzo Maresca did wonderful things at Leicester City. Comment your thoughts on him below. Cheers.